What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. The 5th of April, taking a, the 5th of May, excuse me, taking a look at Casper slash Tether this morning. Daily chart. Gonna take a zoom in here, see what's going on. Price is finding some resistance once again, although holding up quite well. Guys, welcome all of the new subscribers. Thank you to all of the current subscribers to the channel. So I have these two boxes on my screen. They basically just represent big ranges, big basing structures. One over here, you know, runs from May of 21 up into roughly May of 22. So that's about a year long. And then our second, which we are just about outside of runs from May of 22 to May of 23, oddly enough. So they run about a year long. And then um, looks like we're getting some movement outside of that basing structure. So we'll take a look at the previous one. But for right now, let's take a look at more recent price action. So you could see we have been basically, I call it ping ponging in inside of this box you know, hitting some of our upper resistance and then finding support at lower levels. We have find, found ourselves, the Casper price, I should say, basically at the top, if not, you could argue outside the, definitely outside of the upper end here of this box. The key is, is it going to hold and turn into support? So far, we have broken out. That took pay place basically the middle of April. It broke out, pulled back in, rallied again recently, and basically is trying to turn or has turned into support. Like I said, we'll have to see if that holds. Bitcoin so far is holding up well. We'll take a look at Bitcoin briefly. That is going to weigh on the Casper price big time. So if we take a zoom in here, you can see we are our attempt one over here in the middle of April, pullback, rally off of support at 466, rally all the way up to 628, guys, is our current resistance. The price has hit that once and doesn't look like it hit quite hit it today. Today was high at 626. Our level is at 628, but close enough. And we are getting a pullback. So my concern is that if the price can't get above this area with a strong candle, it's going to end up back down in here. Either it's going to find support at 571 or break that and be back down in here into the 520s, which would put it back into this range. And that wouldn't be, that would be a spot. I wouldn't be surprised to see the price. It's an old high. It already has been turned into support. So if it pulled back into here, that would be pretty normal in my opinion. So we'll have to see what happens there. Let's jump back to um, Bitcoin or let's take a look at Bitcoin. Then we'll come back to this chart. So Bitcoin taking its sweet old time as it does, and then it moves really big quickly. Resistance at 30, pulled back, rally. Resistance at 29, 140-ish. Nasty pullback, wedge up. Looks like we're still finding resistance at 29, 143. So we'll have to see how this plays out if it's going to break to the upside or is this you know ugly wedge going to break to the downside and take the rest of the market with it you know not a perfect head and shoulders but definitely has a topping pattern look to it if that's the case it's down to the 26 to the mid to high 25s not hoping that happens but that's definitely not out of the cards We'll have to see if, you know, we're not getting that close above 29,143. 
Looks like we had one close above it right here. And so far, just whipsaw, pullback, wedge up to it. And then today, once again, finding resistance with that candle wick above. So keep your eye on that 29,143, a solid close above that and support takes us back up into the $30,000 Bitcoin, which therefore would more than likely allow Casper to break out above the 628 level. 628 is that current resistance right here. So we'll have to see what happens if Bitcoin heads back down to that 26, 25 and a half or so. There's a good chance we're going to see Casper down back in the 520s, maybe even the low fives down in here. But it actually looks pretty promising. But it depends on what Bitcoin does that we might be turning this big, big yearly basing structure into support and we'll start to work on a new range, which hopefully is trying to get the correct tool here is back up in this area now and potentially higher. Just like this range broke to the downside and the lower end was turned into resistance. We want to see the upper end of this range now turn into support, which is basically right at that 571, 524, give or take. So holding up quite well in a quiet, semi-volatile Bitcoin market. The stock market has definitely been more ugly and volatile and has not held up as well as Bitcoin. So we'll have to see what happens here with the rest of the markets, the S&P 500 knocking on the bearish territory yesterday. So we'll have to see if that either one follows through and we continue to the downside today. I do think that will happen. Or do we get a vicious rally to the upside, crushing the bulls as soon as they saw a bit of hopium there? We'll see. We're in a a little bit of a teeter totter, teeter totter, totting, whatever the word is, zone for the S&P 500. So guys, keep your eye on 628 for Casper. I hope we break above it. That takes us up into the 6768 and 727. That's right up here. That's these three levels. But it looks like it's having a little bit of a struggle getting above our overhead target our 628 level pullback 571 if that doesn't hold 524 522 maybe even 509 you guys have a great evening head over to the video description and download your trade tracker download your market risk sheet those are free check them out let me know your thoughts on those in the comments welcome to the channel if you are not yet joined hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up Appreciate it. Share this video and good luck out there. Take care.